Hello and welcome back. Today's video is on how to swage stainless steel metal jackets. This is our stainless steel metal jacket. As you can see I've already swaged it and this video is really just a talk through rather than a demonstration. So what have we got? We've got a 50ml lap here and a female swage coming along here. We have a male swage coming along here on the lap. We have a female swage here going around the circumference with 50mm on the lap. And we have a male swage going around the circumference here as well. And as you can see, you can see that on the camera shot, there are no ripples in the swage. And on the lap seam, again, along here, there are no ripples. So, this is a number four swage, this is, and it's been done on an Edwards hand swager. So, right, how do we do this? Well, first of all, you find the circumference of your section, and you add on a little bit for the female swage. In this case, it was a quarter of an inch. So, once you've done that and you've cut out your flat metal, you set your Edward swager up for a 50mm lap and do all your female swages. Once you've done all your female swages, you turn the stack over and you do all the male swages. So once all your swages are done, you will then put it through the slip, ro slip roller to form the casing, as you can see here. This does squash out the swage a little bit, so all then you need to do is then go back through the Edward swager and reform your swages. But because you've already put your swages on the metal, you'll find that it goes on very easily and you will get no ripples. There are absolutely no ripples in that, it's very straight and there are absolutely no ripples in that either. So let's just move this out of the way. I have actually installed some casing on a piece of six inch section by 50 mil. This is our uh, six inch section. You see that on the camera shot by 50 mil wall thickness. So here is our installed casing. So what we got here, we've got our male swage, a male and female swage, a male and female swage, and a male and female swage with our female swage going around the circumference here, ready to take the next piece. Uh, what else have we got? We have our rivets at 110mm, evenly spaced, so they're all uniform and looking smart. I've put this seam straight with this one. You can have these staggered, which is probably how you would mostly see them is staggered, but where this is going, it's going to be in one straight line because that's what the client would like. And under this seam here, before it's fastened, will be a silicon seal put in and then the rivets in to fasten it, making a watertight seam along here. And the same around the circumference seam as well. It would be siliconed and then riveted together to to make a watertight seal and the same again along this one. So that is how we form our beautiful non-ripple metal jackets with swages. So thank you very much for watching my video and please remember to like, share and subscribe and until next time thank you and goodbye.